All right. We're going to get going. I'd like to call to order this special meeting of the Northfield Township Board of Trustees for March 30th, 2021 at 531 p.m. Right. Invocation. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you be with us in our decision making today that we may uh, do what is your will and uh, care for those that uh, uh, we represent here in Northfield Township. Amen. Amen. All right. Next is the Pledge of Allegiance. Give me one second here. Here we go. And if you'd like to join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, of the United States, States of America, America, America and to the republic, republic for which it stands, stands one, nation, one nation under God, under God, God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and justice, justice for all. For all. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Next on the agenda is roll call. Ms. Manley, if you could call the roll, please. Uh, we can't hear you, Ms. Yep, Manley. I will try. There I can. We go. Now we can. Um, okay. It's, it's really spotty on my end, so apologize for that. Um, Dignan? Present. And where are you? I'm here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm in Northfield Township, Washtenaw County, Michigan. Otto? Call me, Kathy. We can hear you. Yes. Oh, hi, John. Okay. All right. Jackie Otto, uh, Northfield Township, Washtenaw County, Michigan. Here. Check. Janet Chick, present, Washtenaw County, Northfield Township, Michigan. MoCo? Nay Moko, present, <clears throat> Northfield Township, Washtenaw County, Michigan. Zelenak? Present, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Washtenaw County. Nelson? Joshua Nelson, present, uh, Northfield Township, Washtenaw County, Michigan. And Manley, present, Northfield Township, Washtenaw County, Michigan. All right. We do, oh, have, I'll hear. We do have a quorum. Next is uh, to adopt the balance of the agenda. Would someone like to make a motion? I'll move to adopt the agenda as it is. Okay. Support. Motion by Nelson, supported by Chick. Any discussion on the motion? Hearing none, uh, Ms. Manley, will you call the roll? Yep. Manley, yes. Otto? Yes. Chick? Yes. Moco? Yes. Zelenak? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Dignan? Yes. Seven zero. Okay. The, ad the adoption of the agenda is, as is is passed. Next is petitions and communications. This is a time when we have a call to the public. If there's anyone in the public that would like to address the board at this time, please raise your hand and we will uh, turn on your microphone. I currently do not see anyone in the public that has raised their hand. We'll give them another moment. Seeing none, we'll move on. Uh, board member clarification or comments. I don't have any uh, clarifications. Does anyone else? Seeing none, we'll move on to new business. Item one is resolution 21-639, resolution of authorization for DNR grant application and funding. So I am presenting this. Um, I, I do want to uh, apologize in advance that this should have been last meeting. Um, as I went through the application, I did realize that we did have to have a board motion and uh, they do ask for a resolution. So um, this is why we are moving forward on this. Okay. Is there a motion on the resolution? I'll make a motion to adopt resolution 21-639, a resolution of the Township of Northfield, Washtenaw County, Michigan, authorizing local unit of government match without donated funds. I'll support. Okay. There's a motion by Chick and supported by Nelson. Is there any for discussion on the motion? Okay. It does take a long time. I, I have some questions. Yeah, I do. Sure. Go ahead, Ms. Zelenak. 
Okay. Um, so what is the maximum amount for the grant? 300,000. I, I know the resolution says 300,000. Is that the max for the grant in, in total? Yes, for the trust fund grant, that is the max for this grant. Uh, doesn't mean that we uh, can apply for it again next year. It just means for this time frame, 300,000 is the max grant. And then what is the maximum matching? Again, I know what we're matching. We said we'll match is 30%, but what's the range for matching? The minimum is 25%. Okay, and the maximum up to, do they expect 50? Can it go up to 75? You can go as high as you want. Okay. Um, you get more points for the higher you go. Okay, awesome. and how did, how did we determine 30%? I just did an estimate on what I thought that was in the budget of what we could accommodate in regards to trails, lighting, uh, the green uh, entrance to the park. Uh, and this was based on uh, information that was in the uh, North Village Master Plan, the estimates mm -hmm. were in there. Yep. And then, uh, did some estimates as far as lighting uh, right. goes. And based on that, I came up with a figure, bumped it up to the nearest dollar, and then there you have it, 390000 Right. I was just curious. I mean, I was on the total amount, and I was just curious how you determined that 30% would be a good number to apply as opposed to 40 or 50%. Um, the way I did it is I just based it on the budget dollars uh, uh -huh. and then took that 90%, uh, that 90000 and yeah. uh, that was 30% of the 300000 and yeah, okay. And then, um, out of prison. Very, very so this grant is really going to cover, when you talk, you know, it's going to basically, is it going to cover a parking lot? Is that how I understand roads, circulation, yeah. street parking? Yes. And that would be in the green space area. Mm -hmm. yeah. So in the green space area, there is um, parking lots that are along the green space mm -hmm. uh, yeah. that are vertical parking that are yeah alive. yeah yeah so i kind of remember the plan so you're kind of looking at more of the north village plan and kind of going along that ride because these things come part, part of it yes okay and why and why didn't we go for the beach the beach we would have to go to eagle to get um more information on it and with the short timeline that we had with DNR, we did not have a time to meet with uh, Eagle. Uh, we would have to get permits. We would have to go through a, a different uh, process with them. And I also thought that the beach would uh, probably take more time because there would be more parties interested in the beach, such as the um, Huron Valley Watershed, the DNR, um, and uh, Eagle as well. Okay. All right, thanks. And then I just, um, do you think the county will help us out with any of the trails at all? Because I know at one meeting they had mentioned, or I thought I had heard, and it is, you know, hearsay or heard, that they were interested in doing the trails. Yeah, it is our objective to go after grants for that money. So that $90,000, can be covered by the general fund. It can be covered by donations. It can be covered by other grants. Okay. Uh, it cannot be covered by other state grants, though. Right. So it can be. It, okay. It can be covered county by or local. Okay. Yeah, county or local. Well, so um, the the thing is, is that when uh, I think the county grants have to be in by. Um, October 1st, and they don't award them until after October 1st. Okay. Um, and then uh, DNR grant, they need to know if you're going to be able to cover the 90000 as of October 1st. So okay. we have this window that's kind of not overlapping each other. Okay. All right, because I mean, the 90000 as of now will come out of the general fund, which will put us below the 85% right. funding. Yes. 
All right. Well, you answered all my questions, and I um, is to go after county funds for this. Yes. Okay. Okay. Great. And the sidewalk at the green—that's kind of walking along. I kind of sort of remember that, but can you help me so, out in that position? So, if you think of a, a green, and uh, yeah. trust me, we're not putting any more roads back into the back of the property. I'm just putting it around the green area. Okay. Um, yeah. For right now, so if, without if I understand designer, it, for me, without a designer, I have no idea. Um, okay, there's so going to be thinking, other things involved than just so it might be, it might be like Plymouth, you know, where they have their park. I mean, obviously, this is a bigger piece of property, but they have the walk mm -hmm. all the way around what I would call maybe something similar to our village green. So, okay, well, mm -hmm. you've answered my questions. I appreciate it. I definitely think we need to get a parking lot because that will certainly help and invite more people to come. It'd be great if the county can help us out, certainly with some of the trails and the funding, and we can get funding for the 90000 And So, thank yeah. you. That, that, I appreciate that. That answered my questions. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Zelenak. Ms. Chick? Um, yeah, so according to the resolution, I didn't know if you wanted the resolution read or not, but uh, the total uh, project, uh, the funding, or the, I'm sorry, the, the dollar amount applies to the 2021-2022 and the 2022-2023 fiscal year. So are we saying that our contribution to the grant would be spread out over that time, or, or is it going to be in 2022 or 2023? Do we know? It'll be probably be in most years, in, in both years. Okay. It will probably be in the 2022, 2023. Yeah. Um, the first part of it, which is the uh, hiring of the designer, right. um, this grant will cover 15% of that. Um, but all these costs, we have to pay the upfront costs and then we get reimbursed um, from, the, from the grant. Right. So I also wanted to add that I think it was an excellent, actually a wise decision to go for the greenway and the central lawn first, as opposed to attacking the beach area first, because most people want to congregate on that part of the uh, property anyway, uh, for the events going forward. And um, uh, it accommodates a lot more people. Plus, we need the parking there first before we start building out. So, And the park designer is probably going to determine where any sidewalks or paths or trails are going to go in the future. Okay, thank you. Ms. Yeah. Um, I I, I have one question. You said that 15% yeah. of uh, the planner or of the, uh, uh, is, it 15, is it 15% of the <laughs> grant can be used for the designer or the, or the grant will cover up to 15% of the cost of the designer? So if the designer- They will cover up to 15% of the cost of the designer. Okay, so we pay 85% of the cost of the designer. Right. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was that or up to 15% of the grant could be used for a designer. That's why no, it, it said 15%. They'll cover 15% of the expense. Okay. All right. Are there any other questions for Ms. Otto? All right. Hearing no other questions, Ms. Manley, will you call the roll? Yep. Chick? Yes. Otto? Yes. Zelenak? Yes. Moko? Yes. Yeah. Manley? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Dignan? Yes. Yep. Seven zero. Okay. Next item on the agenda is announcements. Uh, we have no announcements today. And uh, the next would be petitions and communications from the public. If there's anyone that would like to address the board, uh, this is your time to, uh, for call to the public. Please raise your hand and we will turn on your microphone if you would like to address us. I do not see anyone in the public that is currently raising their hand. With that, I will move on. Board member comments. Uh, I have one comment and that is, uh, uh, we spoke about at our last meeting and uh, I, I think that uh, based on the information that I've been provided, it is a time when we need to uh, come together and put together a capital improvement plan. Uh, the dollar amounts that are spent in this grant can be spent through borrowed dollars as well, if I remember correctly, and Ms. Otto can correct me if I'm wrong, but 
Uh, when we start looking at building out the park and dealing with the parking over at 75 Barker and the roof at the public safety building, um, right now, money is very inexpensive to borrow. And we need to put a plan together that will allow us to accomplish some of these things without affecting our general fund and, and allowing us to keep our general fund fluid at the uh, level that uh, is most desired in, in our eyes and in the state's eyes. So uh, I think that uh, forthcoming will be a proposal uh, to borrow money that this board will need to consider and deliberate. So those are the only comments I have. If there's anyone else uh, that has comments, uh, Miss Chick and then Miss Otto. Um, so I agree with the uh, going forward with a capital improvement plan in order to determine how much money we're looking at to borrow. So will that be on a, a upcoming agenda soon? Oh my gosh, you have sirens behind you, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, how quickly can we look at getting a capital improvement and plan together so we can determine how much money we need to borrow or how are we doing that? Well, I think we have some of that in order. Uh, we have yes. asked the chief to put together dollar amounts on what he believes would be necessary to address the roof in the public safety building uh, before it becomes an you know issue. Make sure that we're, we're diligent in maintaining our assets. And then um, the... Uh, you know the other items uh we have we have a lot of these numbers they just have to be brought and, and brought together so i think we'll have a discussion item in general at our next board meeting at which time uh we will need to assign three board members to really put that together and come forth with a res with a uh, proposal to the board a borrowing resolution okay. so um, remember, our borrowing resolutions at the township do require a notice, yes. um, and I think it's very important that we be very transparent and open with the public about this. Uh, that's why, A, I'm bringing it up now. We brought it up at our last meeting that it's coming. Um, and so I, th I think that's what we'll do is we will uh, bring it forth as a discussion item on our next regular board meeting and proceed from there. Okay, I All just right. have one more comment. Um, sure. I did get um, a comment actually from a resident today uh, asking about since we're not going to be able to do anything right away quickly with the park area um, that the community or the township should start thinking about events and activities that can be had there uh, now or over the summer uh, if uh, if they can. Absolutely. Absolutely. <clears throat> Thank you, Ms. Chick. Ms. Otto. Yeah, I, I wanted to actually thank the board uh, for having the special meeting um, and also thank those that, that have sent in their letters of support. We have a number of community members that have already sent in their support, and I appreciate um, the support that we've received on this. Uh, this is a big project. This is probably the biggest thing that we've ever done. Um, and so, uh, Ken, I may reach out to you because there's a couple of things that you may need to sign <laughs> yep. as as supervisor, and then we can decide whether it is the that you sign them or um, a Mr. Fink signs them. It has to do with the environmental report. Yep. Um, and then, uh, um, I think that's about it. Um, and just appreciate everybody that has, especially Jennifer and um, McKenna for assisting me in all the uh, information that I've been uh, asking them to provide during this time. All right. Thank you, Ms. Otto. And it was, yes, Ms. Zelenok. So um, one thing, Ms. Otto and Jennifer, um, what Jennifer would that be? Uh, Jennifer Carlisle. Okay, I just wanted to. Yeah, end right that. now, um, Jennifer Delisle, C uh, CC, and Lee are reviewing uh, the narratives and everything on the, mm -hmm. uh, and so they should be providing me feedback from those uh, tomorrow. Okay, and I would like to thank you know everybody's effort to get us to this point. I think it's very important to get parking so it can start to move and be more inviting for people. It is an asset for the township and I like to see it being used more and more. And I would also like to say everybody who celebrates um, Easter, may you have a blessed Easter. Yeah, right. Anyone else on the 
or to have any comments at this time. Seeing none, uh, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So move. Okay, motion by Lisa Norris. I'm sorry, motion by Zelenuk, supported by Otto. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. Have a good Thank night. You. Bye. Thank you.